Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, blue and uh, yellow triangles uh, fully confined uh, in a bigger uh, right triangle uh, A, B, D as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover this uh, E, B is the angle uh, bisector in this uh, yellow triangle and as a result we get this uh, angle alpha and uh, alpha and furthermore uh, this uh, side length uh, a e is uh, 9 units this uh, side length uh, a d is uh, 21 units and this uh, side length a b is represented by x units and now our task is to find the value of uh, x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle. Let me label uh, this side length uh, BC as uh, lowercase a and this uh, side length uh, EC as uh, lowercase b. And now let's recall the angle uh, bisector theorem. If these angles are our alpha and alpha, then we are going to have a proportion. This side length C divided by A equals to d divided by b as you can see in this uh, equation so we are going to apply this uh, angle bisector theorem on this uh, yellow triangle since we got this angle alpha and this angle alpha as well so therefore we are going to have a proportion b divided by a is going to be equal to 9 divided by x let me go ahead and write it down over here b divided by a equals to 9 divided by x let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ebc and now let's recall uh, so cartoa and we are interested in uh, tangent theta equals to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and in our case uh, this uh, b is our opposite side and this uh, a is our adjacent and our angle is uh, alpha so therefore we can write uh, tangent of uh, alpha equals to b divided by a and now let's go ahead and substitute this uh, b divided by a value in this equation one so i'm going to replace b divided by a by this uh, tangent of alpha so therefore this equation one is going to become a tangent of uh, alpha equals to 9 uh, divided by x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, abd now and let's recall uh, so cartoa once again and we are interested once again uh, tangent of theta equals to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and in our case uh, this whole angle is going to be alpha plus alpha is going to make uh, 2 alpha and then our opposite side is uh, 21 and adjacent is uh, x so therefore our tangent of our angle 2 alpha is going to be equal to 21 divided by x and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity tangent of alpha plus beta could be written as uh, tangent of alpha plus uh, tangent of beta all over 1 minus uh, tangent of alpha times uh, tangent of beta now i'm gonna make uh, these identical angles if this angle is alpha i'm gonna make this angle alpha as well then uh, this angle is going to be once again alpha this is going to become uh, alpha this is our angle uh, alpha and this beta is going to become uh, alpha once again and now on the left hand side uh, alpha plus alpha is going to become uh, 2 alpha so therefore left hand side could be written as tangent of uh, 2 alpha equals to on the right hand side uh, we got uh, tangent alpha plus uh, tangent alpha is going to become uh, 2 times uh, tangent uh, alpha divided by 1 minus uh, this is tangent alpha times uh, tangent alpha is going to make uh, tangent uh, square of uh, alpha 
So this is going to become our new identity. And now we are going to replace this uh, tangent of uh, 2 alpha by this uh, right hand side since the left hand side is uh, tangent of 2 alpha. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, tangent of 2 alpha by 2 times uh, tangent of uh, alpha divided by 1 uh, minus uh, tangent uh, square of uh, alpha equals to on the right hand side we got uh, 21 divided by x and as we know that uh, we already figured out uh, tangent of alpha equals to 9 uh, divided by x in our previous steps so therefore i'm going to replace it by this uh, tangent of alpha and this uh, tangent of alpha as well let's go ahead and make a substitution now so two times i'm going to replace this tangent of alpha by 9 divided by x all over 1 minus uh, this is going to be 9 divided by x whole square equal to 21 divided by x and now in this next step uh, i multiplied out uh, 2 times 9 is going to give us uh, 18 uh, divided by x uh, at the numerator and in the denominator uh, 9 divided by x uh, whole square could be written as uh, 81 divided by x square and now let's focus on this uh, denominator part and here i have copied it down and here i have manipulated this uh, one one could be written as x square uh, divided by x square so this way we got the common denominator x square and we got uh, x square minus 81 at the numerator so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, denominator by this uh, x square minus 81 divided by x square and since we are running out of the space on the left hand side so i'm going to write down uh, 18 divided by x uh, at the numerator all over i'm going to replace the denominator by x square minus 81 all over x square equals to on the right hand side we got 21 divided by x and now let's recall this basic rule of fractions if we got a divided by b one fraction divided by another fraction c divided by d then we can multiply this a times d divided by b times c as you can see this uh, fraction on the right hand side so let's go ahead and apply this uh, rule on the left hand side so we can write uh, 18 x square divided by and now we can see we got uh, x at the denominator and x at the denominator over here as well let me go ahead and multiply both sides by x here this x is gone with this x this x is gone with this x as well so the left hand side could be written as equal to on the right hand side i can write 21 divided by 1 let's go ahead and cross multiply so we're gonna have a 21 x square minus we got this 21 times 81 i can just simply write equals to on the right hand side is going to be 18 x square now let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, to the right hand side and this uh, on the left hand side as well as you can see in this uh, next uh, step let's go ahead and subtract uh, the left hand side and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to isolate x square this and this is gone and we know that uh, 21 divided by 3 is going to give us uh, 7 so therefore we are going to get uh, x square equal to let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both sides so therefore left hand side is going to become x equal to we know the square root of 81 is 9 so i'm going to bring 9 outside times the square root of 7 so thus our x value turns out to be 9 times the square root of 7 so thus our x value turns out to be 9 times the square root of 7 units and that is approximately equal to 23.8 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.